Hey everybody, this is Chris with Simple Tech with this week's Simple Tech Tip, uh, helping you take the stress out of IT. So last week uh, we talked about wanting to focus on Mac OS Ventura and photos in particular. And so we're gonna continue that this week. So last week, if you didn't see it, go back and watch that video. It was about how to find duplicates and how the new duplicate detection in uh, photos works for Mac OS Ventura. Today, we're gonna be looking at the hidden photos, how to lock and hide photos or the hidden photos album and also also the recently deleted album. Um, you know, maybe you do have some private stuff in there. You don't want your kids going through your phone or on your computer and maybe run across or uh, hopefully you're not doing anything illegal, but you wanna hide those too, then by all means, uh, there's a way for you to do that. Uh, just don't tell them I taught you how to do that and we'll be good. Uh, so if you're ready to get started and see how you can hide your photos and how you could password protect those and you have Mac OS Ventura on your computer, let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at hidden files. Um, so like I said, if you're ever up to anything naughty, um, this might be a feature that you use. Uh, so we're gonna go on and just open up photos here. And you might already have some that are hidden. I don't, so I don't know what's gonna look like if you're on hidden photos. I'm uh, just gonna put that as a disclaimer. So one of the first things that you're gonna notice when it comes to hidden photos and recently deleted now, your recent deleted, if you look over here, is actually locked now by default. Uh, I didn't do anything to lock that. I just opened photos and it had a lock. Now, if I click on view album, it's gonna ask for my computer's password. Now I have my Apple Watch on, so I can just double click and it can open that up and it can show me. I'm really glad that I didn't have anything bad in there because I'm like, I don't know what I just recently deleted. Um, but then it's gonna show me those those files and I can then just re erase deleted items, delete. Perfect, deleted items gone. And you can see it, it removed itself from here. But what's cool is that deleted items now, I'm gonna delete that one and see it's unlocked now right? So I click on the lock, it relocks it. So it's a great little feature if you want to make sure your stuff just kind of stays a little protected, right? You don't want prying eyes. Um, hey, I have a nine-year-old and a four-year-old and my nine-year-old probably teaches me stuff on my, my iPad and my phone every single day. Um, my four-year-old, yeah, she can kind of care less. Um, but anyways, if she ever does get in there, you know, there might be some things they don't want you to see or you don't want them to see, I'm sorry. So if we go to library though, and I come to this photo here, and I'm just gonna right click on it with my mouse. And you can see if we come down here at the bottom, we got hide one photo. So I'm gonna go do, click on hide one photo. And when I do that, you'll notice right above recently deleted, a hidden album will appear. So hide one photo, hide, and now we have this hidden folder. Now again, same thing, you click view album, you could either use password, so I'll just use my password this time, and there's that photo. You wanna relock it, you click on the lock and it's locked again. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it again because I'm gonna test something with you that I haven't tested. It's like, okay, well, what if I leave photos with it unlocked and I reopen it? I'm guessing it's gonna automatically lock, and that's correct, it did automatically lock. So click on view album, put in your password, and there's your photos. Now, in some cases, this hidden folder may not appear. And if we come to view, you can see here that right now it currently says hide hidden photo album. So if I actually click that, my hidden photo album is actually even hidden on top of that. So not only do I have my photos hidden, but the album itself is hidden. So nobody could just come over here that knows my password. Like, let's be real, my kids know my password to my iPad, right? They can't go into the, they're not gonna be able to see the hidden photos album and be like, ooh, I wonder what dad's hiding, uh, and click in there and go into that. But it's kind of nice, you know, to be able to select them, hide two photos, we'll hide them. And you can see we don't have that any longer. But if I come to view and then show hidden photo album, I can come here now to view. I'll go ahead and do my password. And then there's the photos that I put in that album. So it's a kind of a pretty nice feature. Just remember that the album itself might be hidden when you first did it. Um, so the first time you hide a photo, if you don't see it show up on here on your left side, the photo album is hidden. So come up to view and come down to, it'll say show hidden photo album. You click that, it'll show it then on the sidebar where you can then access that, that album. And then if I wanted to, I can hide it again. So that way it disappears, no prying eyes, nobody that might know my password. Um, so just 
takes a little couple more extra steps for people to find the stuff that you might have hidden. If you really are worried about the content that's in there, then the biggest thing that you could do to protect yourself is put in a strong password to your system. Um, you know, mine's only a four digit like pin code type thing, right? So it's not exactly the hardest thing in the world, um, but if you're really looking at it from a security perspective and there's stuff in there that you wanna keep from prying eyes, you wanna have a good password on your machine. So that's it, that's how you look at, you hide photos, how you can access the hidden photo albums, how you can show it, how you can hide it, um, and also the recently deleted. Don't forget that recently deleted now is actually a locked album. So we appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, share, do all the things with these videos, and we're gonna keep coming at you with Mac OS Ventura videos for the next couple weeks because it is Apple's new release. And then from there, we'll start diving into some other content to help you get more out of your Mac and also have stress-free IT. Thanks for watching.